Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's gonna tell us all about the rain. Tom, residents all over Kohog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. For example, I'm here with Rides a 10 Speed Everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10 Speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10 Speed because it's fun, uh, gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Kohog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Tom, tonight the stars are out for a special sneak preview of a straight-to-DVD feature that will soon be in the 399 bin at your local car wash. Here comes Mayor Adam West himself. Mr. West, do you have any words for our viewers? Box, toaster, aluminum, maple syrup. No, I take that one back. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Tom, I'm standing in the bedroom of Judy and Glenn Isaacs, ten years married and still in love. What's their secret? Judy has an inoperable brain tumor the size of my fist, and that just happens to be Glenn's fetish. Quahog is seeing its worst flu epidemic in years, due in part to a severe shortage of flu shots. Let's go live to Asian flu correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Trisha? Diane, I'm... <laughs> but first, let's go to the Quahog Mega Mall, where Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa is handing out makeovers. That's right, Tom. Some lucky, hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I tell you, Trisha, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism. And, <laughs> and if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. Tom, I'm standing here amidst the heated debate over a recent petition to change the name of the city from San Francisco to something a little less gay. Excuse me, sir, what would you like to rename San Francisco? Well, given the wonderful shoe shopping, I would cast my vote for heaven. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No. You will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes! Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me, and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that! Ah! Time for a good door, bad door! Wait, how bad is the bad door? Sex. Some people have it anonymously. What kind of person would do that, you might ask? Well, I'm about to find out. I just picked up a complete stranger in a hotel bar, and he's in the bathroom right now, possibly doing drugs. Watch as I have sex with this potentially dangerous man as we take you in-depth and undercover. I've never had a Spanish chick before. <laughs> Ole. Well, I thought a lot about it, and I... And here comes David Bowie. David, what brings you all the way to... Shh! Just you shut your mouth. Ah, oh, man, love to miss Ziggy Stardust! I take you home! I make you fish ball soup! Fish ball! This is Trisha Takanawa. I am standing outside Quahog Hospital, where accused kidnappers Lois and Peter Griffin have just arrived. Also arriving is my overprotective boyfriend, who is suspicious whenever I am called into work at night, even though I've been a reporter for years, Tyrone. I thought I told you to mention my painting business. Well, Hurricane Norman is beginning to pound Quahog. We now go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for a look at how locals are dealing with the imminent disaster. Trisha? Diane, I'm I'm hearing...